um, just want to introduce you to the guys quickly. This is Robert Cox, he's the international coordinator for Cow Sangwit Gym. He looks after all the international fighters, including Kieran and Nicky from my gym. He's got fighters from Bromley Thai, KO Gym, all around the country where they use Cow Sangwit. Rob sorts out all their activities, accommodation, fights, everything. And also, he's fluent in Thai, so he'll be translating everything today. Useful guy to have around. Um, this is company at Cal Sangaret, two times Lumpini Stadium champion. He's just retired from active fighting four or five months back. He's staying at Kettle's gym for the next three months, maybe longer, uh, to help, help us with our teaching. He's, he, he's well, well reputed in the field for his clinch work, his knees, very strong elbow, and he's got a right kick like you've never seen before. Um, so he, he'll be walking around and demonstrating today, helping everybody out. Next is the Cal Sangaret star, Anawak Cal Sangaret. Um, which is what the seminar is all, all about. He's four times a Ratchetown Stadium champion. He's the current Ratchetown Stadium champion as well. I think it's the first time the UK has actually had a current stadium champion here. Most of them are former champions. He's the current champion. He's also the DMAX eight man tournament champion and the Omnoy Stadium champion. So he's not got much of a CV. Um, he's also 2003 and 2004 <coughs> Fighter of the Year award. I don't know if anyone's actually won it twice before. Yeah, once again. Anna, White, Anna White's done that, so he's obviously held in high esteem by his colleagues in Thailand. Um, and he's something else to watch, as you'll see today. And we've got Brands behind Khao Seng Rit. It's Anand Khao Seng Rit. He's the owner of Khao Seng Rit Gym. And he oversees all the fighters' training, accommodation, everything else that goes on in the gym, fights, management. Um, he'll also be participating today. So well, I hope you enjoy the seminar. I want to hand over to the ties now. They're going to start off the way things are going to run. They're going to work on basic hands, and they're going to work on elbows, knees, and kicks. And they're going to tie everything together at the end. They will be walking around throughout correcting things. I think the most important thing to take from today is a lot of you already do tie boxing, a lot of you already know about tie boxing. It's more to look up how they do it, not how we do it. Obviously, a lot of people here can punch a kick already, but they've got pretty unique styles. Uh, which have made them champions, and I think that's the reason why I've got them here. So, I shall hand you over to them. Right, over to Caden. So, if you want to move over by the ring now for the first demonstration, we're going to get Anawak demonstrating punching. <laughs> okay, so first off, he's just going to go through the basic uh, boxing routine. Just watch the way his feet are placed as well. So just watch his hand positioning as well when he's trying the punches out. Weight 50-50 over both feet as well at all times. The body upright. So not like an international style of fight. I mean, you're going to move in the body a lot. See the way he's turning the punch, turning the fist into the punch, and the chin tucked down onto the chest. So the shoulders are providing protection as well, and the punches are coming out. As he's stating again, there, there's no body movement like you get in international boxing, just straight up right. You've got other weapons coming at you that you have to protect against in Muay Thai. <laughs> and it's had about 95 fights in total now, 70 wins and 50 of them, at least 50 are by knockout. So he's got phenomenal punching yeah. power.
sets of punches. First one, just the left jab. Now watch his left foot when he comes in to throw the jab. Just slide in the left foot forwards to put the weight behind the shot. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. And the one, two. Yes. Oh. Yes. I'm watching the pivot as well in the hips. Using the hips. The body upright, keeping our body straight. Just you getting a movement from the hips to put the power into the shots. Just saying there is when the hips coming forward, the shoulders moving forward at exactly the same time as well. Yes. Yes. Shadow boxing, just working on the footwork. They're going to come around and check as well. Make sure your footwork's right, your movement, and then you're going to move on to partner up and do that on the pads. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you. 